Welcome to Get Started, Manufacturing Cloud Feature Overview. In this video, you'll learn about the features of Manufacturing Cloud and discover how advanced account forecasting and sales agreements enhance efficiency in manufacturing operations. Manufacturing Cloud is a comprehensive solution built on the trusted Salesforce platform. Seamlessly integrating Sales Cloud and Service Cloud, it empowers manufacturers to oversee their operations, fostering an ecosystem of collaboration. In addition, it unlocks additional insights into your customers and business by incorporating forecasting, agreements, warranties, orders, and assets to provide a holistic approach to manufacturing management. Plus, it uses flows for industries to automate processes for efficiency. This solution manages sales agreements, product schedules, business trends, and warranty claims, which helps users make informed decisions. Let's look in more detail at sales agreement, a feature that makes it simple to align sales and operations and offers insight into run rate business. Sales agreements offer a consolidated view of products, quantities, and revenue across the entire agreement period, including past, current, and future schedules. This helps sales and operations teams anticipate future business and forecast revenue more accurately. Sales agreements help you manage key agreement terms like pricing, discounts, and quantities. You also can track agreement progress and approvals, which ensures transparency and streamlines the negotiation process. Sales agreements create a CRM container to record the outcome of price and volume negotiations. Formal relationships with clients, such as long-term agreements or informal ones, where price and volume were discussed over a handshake, can be documented. To enable sales agreements, ensure you have the proper permission set and that the feature is enabled in setup. Manufacturing Cloud has two account-based forecasting features, advanced account forecasting and standard account forecasting. If you've never used either forecasting feature before, we recommend using advanced account forecasting, which has all the same features as standard, but with more customization options. With advanced account forecasting, you can create forecasts across regions, products, product categories, or any other custom dimensions in a single instance of Manufacturing Cloud. You can generate forecasts for multiple horizons, for example, weekly or monthly, and use a rolling forecast depending on your business requirements. There are some other amazing things you can do with advanced account forecasting, such as create separate forecast sets to define forecast configurations for different groups of accounts rather than a single configuration for your entire org. Configure forecast calculations for each business unit differently and then run these calculations through scheduled flows or in real time. Create custom measures for forecast sets and then specify calculation methods and aggregation type for each measure. You can also create custom formulas to calculate forecast data. Advanced account forecasting is run in the background by a tool called the Data Processing Engine, or DPE. While we won't go into much detail about DPE in this video, it's important to know that this tool converts data from your Salesforce org and saves the results as new or updated records. DPE can help you modify data for standard and custom objects. There are four standard DPE definitions that are included in advanced account forecasting. Before you can begin using advanced account forecasting, you must enable DPE and assign the right permissions. To do so, go to Setup and in the Quick Find box, enter Data Pipelines. This is the tool that helps create and run the data processing engine definitions. Then select Get Started. Then you can enable Data Pipelines. Please note, to find Data Pipelines in Setup, the Data Pipelines base user permission set must be assigned to you. Here is the list of requirements for advanced account forecasting. Please take note of all of the permission sets needed to use this feature. To learn more about the data processing engine, check out this fantastic help article. If you are using program-based business, or PBB, which is typically used in made-to-order industries, this tool changes how advanced account forecasting works. Advanced account forecasting will use the same process and best practices, but the forecast calculations change depending on which program-based business features are added to the org. For more information, check out this trailhead module and help documentation. Now let's look at how to set up advanced account forecasting. Within Setup, search for Advanced Account Forecasting. Click on the option that shows up to access the Advanced Account Forecasting menu. 
you will be greeted with the forecast set list. Click on New and name your forecast set. A new page will appear and you'll be prompted to create a new forecast set by making a selection from the options displayed. There is an option to associate multiple dimensions with a forecast set. For example, make selections to generate forecast data specific to the ship to location, country, and product information for your accounts. Associate the country, ship to location, and product dimensions with the forecast set. In addition, you can define multiple measures for a forecast set by selecting any of the filtering options provided. You'll want to define forecast set measure groups to create measure groups so that users can view account forecasts with specific measures, such as quantity or revenue. Define forecast set adjustment periods to provide different stakeholders an option to modify forecast data based on their insights into market conditions, growth in the specific product or industry segment, and any other trends. Set forecast formulas to calculate forecasts based on different formulas for different periods such as seasonally. To complete the setup, activate and run the forecast set to generate your first forecasts. After configuring a forecast set according to your requirement, you must activate the forecast set before using it to generate forecasts for your accounts. Run the Generate Account Forecast DPE definition to create the initial forecast. Once the DPE has completed, navigate to the Advanced Account Forecast Set Use object in your org to find the forecast created. Pro tip, once you activate your forecast set, reference this article available in Salesforce. Help. Calculate account forecasts using flows to incorporate DPE definitions into a flow to automate the process moving forward. We hope you found this overview of Manufacturing Cloud's capabilities insightful and valuable for streamlining your manufacturing processes. For further guidance and resources, explore the wealth of information available at help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thank you for watching.